السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دا فرسٹ ویڈیو آف انٹروڈکشن ڈیٹا سائنس کورس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس وٹ از ڈیٹا سائنس وٹ آر دا اسٹیجز انوالو ان ڈیٹا سائنس پروسیس وٹ آر دا ٹولز اینڈ ٹیکنالوجیز اینڈ وٹ آر دا جاب رولس اینڈ لاسٹلی وی ول ڈسکس سم آف دا ریئل ورلڈ اپلیکیشنز آف ڈیٹا سائنس Let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Saif al-Islam. I am a PhD scholar and lecturer at FAST National University. I did my master's in data science from FAST in 2019. I have a blend of academic and industry experience of over 7 years. I also hold several certifications in data science. All this information you will find in the description of the page. So now the question is what is data science? You might have heard a lot of terms including artificial intelligence, machine learning, language models, data analytics, big data, data mining, generative AI, and so on. So what is data science? In this uh, course, we will learn what are these fields, what are these concepts, and how are they linked with the data science process. Is data science a concept, a tool, or a technology? Data science is basically a process, a process that, that takes raw data as input. And this data passes through a series of stages. After that, this data is converted into actionable insight. So basically, data science process is converting the raw data into actionable insights. In actionable insight, the word actionable is important because it refers to the decision making. Data science is intersection of three key components, computational knowledge, mathematical knowledge and domain knowledge. Computational knowledge is important as a data scientist has to write computer programs and algorithms. Mathematical and statistical knowledge is required in the data science process that involves statistical analysis and machine learning modeling. As the data scientist has to work with the data sets of diverse domains, so it's important to have some basic knowledge of that domain as well. Now let's talk about the data science process. Data science process comprises of several stages problem definition data collection data preprocessing exploration and visualization data transformation data modeling model evaluation and deployment the first step in the data science process is problem definition so first you have to define the problem what is the problem why this problem is significant and how are you going to solve the problem using data science process you also have to formulate a clear business or research goal you also have to list the limitations about the data about the techniques or anything relevant to your research problem the second stage is data collection for the data collection process first you have to identify the data sources from where you have to collect the data the data could be collected internally or externally if your organization has the data that is required by you you can collect from your organization but if it, if it is not the case you will go for the external organization or for the publicly available data sets once you identify the data sources you have to collect all the data required for your project and then integrate into a single repository once you collect the data The next step is data preprocessing. Data preprocessing involves data cleansing. When you collect the data in the raw format, there are a lot of inconsistencies and errors in the data. The errors could be missing values, duplicate values, incorrect data types, outliers and so on. So the data cleansing process actually aims to identify those errors and eliminate and clean the data from those errors. The next step could be data integration. As you collect the data from different sources, there could be multiple files, and you have to apply some aggregation techniques to integrate the data into single file. 
The next stage is exploratory data analysis, often referred as EDA. In this process, statistical analysis is performed to know how healthy is the data. Also, to find the correlations, trends, and patterns in the data. In this process, different charts and graphs are created to visualize the data. This statistical analysis and visualization and correlation, these are the building blocks that help in formulating new hypotheses or new insights from the data. The next step before feeding the data into a data science model is data transformation. When the features in the dataset are not on the same scale, normalization is used. And when you want to have mean of zero and standard deviation of one, then standardization is used. Sometimes we have a lot of features in the dataset and we do not know which features are important to us. In this case, dimensionality detection algorithms are used to reduce dimensionality of the dataset. Sometimes we require a lot of data, but we do not have that amount of data, then different data augmentation techniques are used to increase the size of the data set. Feature encoding. This process converts the categorical variables into one hot vectors. So now your data is ready to be fed into a machine learning model first step is to choose the machine learning model that is most appropriate for your data. It could be a regression, classification or a clustering model. We will learn more about these terms in the coming videos. Once you decide the model, then the next step is to train the model using the training data. During the training, we use different parameters to test and optimize the performance of the model. This is called hyperparameter tuning. During the training and optimization process, a limited set of evaluation metrics are used to evaluate the performance of the model on the validation set. Once the model is trained, we then evaluate the performance of the model on the testing set of data. This includes a list of evaluation matrices to have a bigger picture about the model's performance. They may include accuracy, precision, recall, F1 score, mean squared error, loss function, etc. These evaluation matrices depends upon the algorithm, the machine learning algorithm that was chosen for the training process. During the evaluation process, the training and validation curves are also analyzed to de detect some errors like overfitting or underfitting. Once you are satisfied with the performance of your model, the next step is to deploy. Integrate the model into the application's backend or the front end. Ensure that it can be accessible by APIs or other interfaces. One more important thing is to monitor the track of the performance of the model in the production environment and detect if there are any issues or not. Let's talk about different roles in the data science. There are several roles, but the key roles include data scientist, data analyst, data engineer, machine learning engineer, and business analyst. Data scientists are the strategists. They look after the whole data science process from the beginning till the end. Data analyst. Data analysts are more towards the exploration and visualization side. They deep dive into the data to extract the insights. They visualize the trends, generate the reports, and help the informed decisions. Data engineers. They are the specialists who develop, manage, optimize the data pipelines and architectures. They ensure the data is accessible, reliable, and ready for the analysis. Machine learning engineers are the experts who design, build, optimize, and deploy the machine learning models. Business analyst. 
BI specialists focus on the bigger picture. They create dashboards and reports that help business track performance and make informed decisions. Now let's talk about some of the tools and technologies in data science. The first important thing is the choice of database. So why the database is important? You will often see data sets in a simple CSV file. But to create those CSV files, there is a cumbersome process of extracting data from the databases. The databases could be SQL or NoSQL. Then comes the programming language. Mostly used programming language nowadays is Python. Python comes with a lot of libraries. For data pre-processing, if the data is tabular, Pandas comes with a lot of operations to manipulate the data, clean the data, and pre-process the data. If you have the data in a textual format, then NLTK library is the right platform. If the data is in image format, then OpenCV can be used to process the data. If we talk about the visualizations, then the two most common libraries are Seaborn and Matplot. If we come to machine learning, then TensorFlow, Scikit-Learn, and PyTorch are the common machine learning libraries that are used. There are some interactive tools like Power BI and Tableau that can be used to create interactive dashboards and different reports. Hadoop and Spark are the tools that are used to process the big data. There are numerous applications of AI and data science in each and every field. Here I will list some of them. In image and speech processing. We have numerous applications of AI in healthcare, autonomous vehicles, facial recognition, conversational bots like Alexa, and generative AI based tools to generate realistic videos, that is, mid journey. In natural language processing, we came across these two tools almost on a daily basis, ChatGPT, Gemini and other language models. They are built to understand and generate human-like language. Google, Google Translate is another example that can support a lot of languages. Recommendation systems aim to recommend you movies, videos, music, books or products. You will find their applications on tools like Netflix, Amazon, Spotify, and YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. What are the benefits of this course? You will get step-by-step -step guidance for each and every stage of the data science process. You will gain practical skills by coding exercises and real-world projects. You will get to know how to apply data science to the projects of different domains. This course will build a strong foundation of your data science career. You will be kept updated with the latest tools, technologies and trends. Let's embark on this exciting journey together. Have a good day.